Ghana's air pollution poses the highest environmental risk to public health, with Accra experiencing significant pollution issues. The rise in levels have increased the risk of health effects, particularly for vulnerable society members, and pose a significant threat to the population. The rise in pollution levels have significantly increased the risk of health effects for everyone. The decline in respiratory and cardiovascular health is significantly influenced by various factors. From our part as a metrologist, the dust itself is the, uh, the cause of the reduction in visibilities, which is a solid uh, particles, which in a way is not healthy for humans to breathe in. I've come to meet Josephine Krang Osetutu, who is a registered respiratory therapist at the University of Ghana Medical Center. Everybody needs to breathe in air that has good quality so that they can live well, right? So that they can breathe well, so that they can go about the activities of daily living without any hitches or any problems. So anytime they mention that the quality of air is low, what it means is that people who may have predisposing lung conditions or heart conditions are going to have lesser of the quality of life because they're going to struggle to breathe, they're going to struggle to do the things that they usually do. And for those of us who may have normal lung function, what it means is that we can have an increased risk of having certain disease states or certain disease conditions. She stressed the significance of enhancing care for individuals with underlying lung conditions like asthma and promoting measures to mitigate the adverse effects of poor air quality. For somebody who has a certain type of allergic reaction to, say, dust or mold spores or pollen or whatever it is that is in the atmosphere that can cause them to be triggered, it will not be very adequate or right for that person to be, you know, outside a lot of times. Because what it means is that when you step into that atmosphere of pollution, probably 80 to 90 percent of the time you're going to have an asthma exacerbation or you're going to have an attack. During these challenging times, a collective and proactive approach is crucial to mitigate the impact on our health. Imano Samani, TV3 News, Accra.